Now, she does a whole nother series as well. By the time we get into the 1960s, Georgia O'Keeffe is looking at some different ideas. And so we're going to look at Sky Above Clouds. Now, painted in the summer of 1965, George O'Keefe is 77 years old. And this monumental work is sort of the culmination of a series based on the artist's experience as an airplane passenger during the 1950s. And remember, in the 1950s, flying is a whole different ballgame than it is today. It's not you know, just another form of transit to go see grandma. It's something that's rare, it's unusual, it's something that most people won't be doing in 1965. So she begins with relatively realistic depictions of small white clouds on a three by four foot canvas. She progresses to more stylized images of the motif on larger surfaces, ultimately extending her idea across a canvas that spans the entire 24-foot width of her garage, which is what we see here. And this is at the Art Institute in Chicago, if you want to see it live. And what she's trying to pick up on is that idea of being above the clouds. And there's a lot of possible interpretations here. She's 77. This could be her looking at her own mortality, uh, imagining her view when she enters into, you know, whatever form of afterlife she believes. It could be her seeking another idea. So she does her flowers. She does a lot of Southwest scenes, uh, landscape scenes and motif scenes from the desert Southwest. She does her New York images. Uh, so this could be just a movement in another direction. This could be her interest in abstraction. She's always doing these series or she's known for a lot of these series where she moves from pieces like this that are more realistic into more abstraction and that attracts a lot of people to her work because you can see that happening you can see it happening you can see how the artist's mind is looking at it and going hey if i just do this that and the other thing then we move closer and closer to this stylization that i personally like the other thing is the sky above clouds could look like a number of things human cells or whatever else uh, it could give you a sense of isolation because if you existed in one of those cells, who knows, you, the blue walls will stop you. Or it could be the ultimate freedom because you're out in the clouds. Either way, it's a particularly interesting piece by O'Keefe.